So we're currently heading north on Highway 101 towards Fortuna and then we are going to turn right over the mountain pass but as you look ahead and to the right that cloud cover looks ominous so I'm not sure if it's going to be a lot cooler going over the pass it could be damper going over the pass uh, we've got 150 miles to our destination of Reading and we have 203 in the tank so we're doing well for fuel we're going to go to Reading to pick up fuel at Costco hopefully maybe some uh, groceries and then we'll carry straight on to Castle Crag uh, which is our destination today so currently three and a half hours to Reading we're just going to take our time I mean if it's going to look like that weather up there we won't be stop starting but the temperature we left the redwoods was 17 degrees it dropped down to 15 just so it's getting cooler already so we're on uh, the California Highway 36 and uh, what, are, what are we in? About 10, 20 miles in and there's another avenue of redwoods. It's really cool. Uh, it's a very slow, it's a 55 mile an hour row but holy if you can do it, you know, in sections you okay but you're down to 25 and 35 due to the bends. Um, but you're going through these groves of redwoods again, which is actually really cool. I wasn't sure what to expect today. We just said we think it's going to be a bit of a slow three and a half hour drive. But here we go. What's well, this? Grizzly Creek State Park. And look at this. Back in the redwoods again. And you'll see some of uh, trees that have been cut due to coming over the highway and when you see the different color of rings the outer part closest to the bark is what they call blonde that's the first growth and then as it matures it'll go like a blonde a red color and then to a dark color is the core and that determines the darker the color is how old the tree is so blonde is first growth
just done several really tight 180 switchbacks. We're climbing up 10% grade, <clears throat> but it's opening it out. Looks like you're getting into the Alpine meadow. It's actually quite nice up here. Temperature gained one degree and has dropped to two now, so we're down to 15 degrees because we're obviously climbing the altitude. And there's a lot of logging going on on this side of California, the northwestern side for sure. Endless logging trucks. When you come around the corner, yes, with them coming towards you, you're like, holy. See more groves of arbutus as well in amongst the trees. The roads are very twisty and windy. Um, I would say pretty good for motorbikes if you're interested. <laughs> Watch the view now. This view as we open up. This is going to look right really the top, nice. Almost. Wow. Is 10% grade going up. Yeah, we've climbed quite a bit. Okay. Must be at the top of the pass, or one of a few, I'm sure, today. Roads are rough, real rough. Turkey vulture up in the sky there. Like when there are um, signs about the curves and hairpin. 20 miles rough an hour, roads, 35 20. miles an hour. They are bang on. Yeah, slow it down. We have said in the past that we are not speed demons, but even some of those bends are tight. Change of scenery totally now. Looks a bit smoky in the distance as well. A lot of um, farming. Range. As range of it, horses and cows yeah, in this range. area. And now we're going down the seventh percent. dynamic view. We are still in Humboldt County as well. Are we? Yes. Wow. When you look on the mile markers, it says HUM. Oh. So that's how you know you're in the same county. It'll change later on. Very different, very beautiful. Steep descent. I just left the truck in tow haul and it just. That's why it's screaming because we're in second gear, but. Look at the view ahead though. The open range, quite nice. Guy up there. No, it's not. It Where is, is it? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was like a um, statue thingy. Totally different landscape yet again. Oh, look, we could do an evil Knievel. Wang! <laughs> we would not be going far after that. The local Popo. Chips. California Highway, Highway Patrol. Patrol. <laughs> And they the do cover a, a large, like you see them on a regular basis. Yeah, there's lots of CHP down here, that's for sure. One this morning, it was sort of tailgating me for a bit. And, and we're like, uh-oh. We bang on the speed limit, and he did a slow down U-turn and chase some dude. Oh, well. Calm down, Fred. They've had a lot of rock slide, yeah. dirt, 
actually shoring up a lot of this highway here we're on. Definitely shoring up a lot of stuff, that's for sure. There's a lot of shores in that word, in that sentence. And it's not the shoreline as the coast. Mad River, eight miles. I don't know what to expect in Mad River, but kind of sounds cool. You have to be mad after this road. Yeah, 108 miles still to go, two and a half hours still to go to Reading. That's a long drive. Mad River was not much to write home about. It that we like, saw, but... Yeah, on the side of the highway, it was a trailer, burger bar. Um, that's about it. Uh, but the river looked nice. Had a very quick pull in to let Bella have a break. And a uh, very green, turquoise green river. But I haven't seen much else. And now I think it was Ruth Lake is in Nine Miles. We're just seeing a lot of boats coming out on uh, the highway, yeah. So they must go down to the section. We have crossed the uh, county line. That was interesting. I've never done a county line before. We've gone from Humboldt to Trinity. And it was had T-R-I or Tri in the middle of the road with a line depicting the um, county line. So like Dukes of Hazard, got to get to the county line. <laughs> and he's been Smoke very in nostalgic the lately. Smoke in the band, they got to hit the state line. <laughs> and CHP, California Highway Patrol. Chips. Chips. <laughs> yep. Eric Estrada. And his partner, which I forgot his name. That's pretty Larry, sick. Larry something, wasn't it? Oh, there's a ground squirrel. Yeah. I think it was Larry something. Larry Wilcox. Is that what it was? That's yeah, what, that's what it yes, was. Yeah, I remember. That's pretty sad and pathetic. Good show, though. Good show. Back in the 80s. Now we'll have to find an episode of that and have a howl. Yeah. I'm not even going to sing a tune because I'm going to get the wrong tune. <laughs> Bella's had enough of this road. Shasta Trinity National Forest. Summit 4,059 feet. And temperature is now 25 degrees. They said when we were going inland, it's going to get hot. They said Shasta's going to be about 105 Fahrenheit, so it's going to be interesting. Just came around the corner, and here's a deer. And there's no one behind us? Not that He's I looking see. at you. I know, I'm trying to get a picture of him. Because I can't see About behind. to disappear. He is. I don't see Mama anywhere. My little fella. I was able to see him as I was turning around a corner. But we're descending now again. And totally yeah, okay. wild landscape. Um, it's like you're almost gone up to a ski resort. But obviously, I don't think there's much snow happening up here. Our beautiful trees on the left, as we were saying earlier. Quite a mixed bag, we actually. Well, actually, they're all over the place on this section. Huge fire in this section, yeah, too. Yeah, big fire at some point. Watch for snow. Oh, so they do get snow up here. So I guess there's the mountain pass up yeah. high. Didn't know would it be in California. Very twisty roads again. Very 
spectacular. 36 East, California, 36 East. Yeah. That is the road that we are still on. Done a lot of road work on these uh, cliff sides, that's for mm. sure. Blasting and. Almost look like fire guards, these uh, things on the left. Quite a bit of rock fall recently on the road as well. mountain feel, doesn't it? Like golden through to Yoho, NBC to Alberta. Twenty-eight degrees now. Huge fire through here at some point. one in the last little bit we've yeah, seen. A lot more national so forest I think there yeah. might be more national forest campgrounds in this stretch, maybe. Yeah. It's all dry camping, no hookups. Not sure on the water. I've never been in one so thirty degrees now. Wow. No real words to describe this trip. It's an amazing road. It's like corner after turn after turn after turn. It's very windy, for sure. Wow. We've averaged 35 miles an hour on the whole trip, to be honest with you. And yes, I know I'm towing a trailer. Trying to find a vista. Well, it's been a lost, but look at these corners. Shh, God. Right, we're high up with some of these power lines. It's insane. of the landscape has totally changed again. Looks like we're slowly coming down out of the mountain pass. When they say 35, 30? Yeah. Do it. Since pulling over and letting a logging truck and a car go by us, we haven't had anybody go past us. We've had a few cars recently come f forward towards us, going the other way. Uh, but yeah, it's been a pretty lonely road, to be honest with you. Uh, 32 degrees now, as we're slowly coming down. But look at the landscape. Holy... You see where we're going. We're starting to come into the lot of the red rock, the clay. Yeah. We're going from one extreme to another extreme. It's beautiful, actually. A lot of off-roads, 
for four by fouring, quads, dirt bikes. Be a paradise for them. Oh, 32 degrees now. It's beautiful. It's been an amazing drive. So we have actually come crossed into Shasta County. So we've come from Humboldt to Trinity to Shasta now. Oh, a vehicle ahead, way on the other side. Yay, we aren't by ourselves. <laughs> Slow vehicle ahead. Random rock, big boulders in the middle of yeah. the mountains. Cliffside, mountainside. And bendy, windy roads. Totally different again. A lot of large ranches. Looks like we are pretty much on the flat now. We're not doing so much. Windy roads seems to be straight and ish narrow. Picked up a bit of speed now instead of being 35 to 40 miles an hour. It's like we're down into the canyon range area. This road has been it's kind of weird. It's insane. very <laughs> roller coaster. <laughs> you just get up to like we go. 50, 55, and then you have to anchor oh, the bridge. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> that one's not bad. Here Look we go. It. Look at them all. Here we up. go. Way. <laughs> <laughs> little things amuse us right now. <laughs> yeah. You gotta hit this. Oh God. You gotta ride under at 35. It's like, way, here we go. Hit the brakes. Way. Oh! Oh! <laughs> it's like hitting the waves in the ocean. Yeah. There you go. Just a little bit of uh, Humor for us today. Humor. <laughs> hey, up we go. More corners. Well, we've hit Reading. We've dealt with our groceries. We had the most amazing lunch ice cream, chips. cookies, and chips. Sandwiches on that in the back. Yeah, we, we just haven't got there. But we're not far off of exiting the highway, but here's a view of Mount Shasta. Five miles, take exit 724 on the right towards Castella. Okay, so Castle Crags is where we're staying tonight. be something to do with that. That is amazing. Castle Crags State Park. There we go. So our four and a half hour drive of beautiful scenery today, we left at 9.30 in the morning. It is currently 10 after four. So we are not on time whatsoever. So. But it's been very windy, so we couldn't go like yeah, fast. Yeah, exactly. Like I said, we averaged 35 to 40 miles an hour on the trip, so when we were up and over the mountains. So. 
and here we are for the next couple of days. Castle Crags State Park. Well, after a seven and a half hour drive, there should have been four with minimal stops. We made it to Castle Crag and we set up, we had dinner, we were exhausted. And we are now going to a Vista viewpoint tonight because we're not sure if we'll get here again, which is within the campground actually. <clears throat> it's a one mile drive or walk or bike ride, depending on what you want to do. And along a twisty, turny trail. And because we're exhausted, there are uh, miniature mosquitoes here and they bite. They're evil. <laughs> So uh, we're gonna, we've put the mosquito house up and we're probably going to sit in there to stay cool tonight. And uh, so far the campground's nice, well, far off the highway. Went from 40 degrees down to 26. Currently at 26. At 8.13 yeah. p.m. Yeah. Um, the campsites are small. So be prepared if you have got, you know, even a 24 foot trailer, it's going to be tight getting in and your vehicle. So be aware of that. Uh, other than that. We did move our site. Yeah, they do have a pull in system, which is not very much of a pull in. And we were able to set it up, but it was a bit of a slope. So we had to put two blocks on and that wasn't enough. We had to put a rock and we just didn't feel comfortable being that high on Sandra's side. And it was just more right at the corner of anyone comes through at night, hitting the back end of the trailer. That's how close we were on the road. And the road is narrow. So we drove back down, talked to the gentleman, really nice. There's no extra charge moving a site, anything. So we were fortunate there. We did look at um, some day use oh, riverside camping that you can go down, same price. Just a bit of a sketchy entrance going in, some, you know, old RVs with junk all the way around them and stuff. So we didn't want to really trust it. Um, up where we're at, it's a bit lower. Sorry, it's a bit higher in elevation. There's a little bit of wind, apparently. We haven't felt it yet. And it's a little bit quieter from the railway and the highway. So we're just going to add our twisty turny drive here. Okay. finish this 0.45 mile hike from the Vista car park to the Vista viewpoint and it opens up to let's have a look I know it's a bit late at night and it's a bit dark but oh wow there's a viewpoint with some telescopes oh you can actually see Mount Shasta ways away that's really cool. And then what did we come here to see? Castle Crags. It just went dark because the sun's setting. Apologies for that. So we'll make it a bit brighter for you. There. Wow. That's a fine looking piece of granite and green rock and even over here 
there's a little bit more in the distance but it looks great so the gray rocks are mainly green stones and are a detached portion of the Coplay formation related to the ancient and complex geologic history of the Klamath Range. The spectacular Castle Crags, which is straight ahead that Andy's videoing, are made of granite that cooled slowly deep within the earth. Over time, this granite pluton was uplifted and the rock above it worn away. Once the granite was exposed to the elements, water and ice have taken over as the main sculpting forces breaking fractures in the rock, creating the castle-like features. And then it goes on to Mount Shasta. Impressive height of 14,179 feet. It's the far the youngest geologic feature in the area. Mount Shasta is volcanic, forming in episodes beginning 530 years ago and last erupting in 1786. So it's gone from Grey Rocks, Castle Crag, and then Mount Shasta, which is present day.